Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking Gear, wanting to do a more in-depth review on my Staccato XC. Now, I haven't mentioned it on this channel, but uh, that's because the main channel, of course, is just Texas Plinking, where I did make a video on it. I think I titled it something like, does a $5,000 gun make you a better shooter? And the quick answer is yes. That's the truthful answer, and it pissed off a lot of people, but hey, I don't care. Uh, $5,000 is the way it's equipped, actually, just with a little pull to surefire, and that's all, you know, as necessary as you want it to be. But down to its roots, we're talking about the Staccato XC. Uh, Staccato, previously known as STI, a little over two to three years ago. Name changed, and with it, a little bit of kind of familiarity within the industry. But STIs were practical for multiple things, but people just knew them as race guns. Uh, with the name change a couple years ago, uh, they really wanted to be kind of carry and duty oriented with that race pedigree that of course is not a bad thing to have. Well, a little bit of personal bias. Uh, they are out of Georgetown, Texas, and I could be at their facility within about 20 minutes. Uh, so some, you know, hometown love. I absolutely love STI and now Staccato just because they're so close. And recently they invited me to uh, their facility where I checked out the production process. And so of course that helps already as well. Um, yeah, so any excuse to talk about it some more. Uh, like I said, already made the initial video on Texas Plinking, but let's get a little bit more nitty gritty with it. Maybe break it down more specs that I maybe otherwise wouldn't have done on the main channel. But, uh, you know, more excuse to talk about the XC here. Now, like I just said, with all the race pedigree from STI and now Staccato, well built. Uh, well, they have a few different op like offerings. Now, this isn't a uh, manufacturer review, so we're not going to go through all of them. But to keep it short, uh, as it sits right now with the current model lineup, this is the top end uh, as far as price and everything like that. Um, there's also the XL, but the XL was made, from my understanding, pretty specifically for competition to fit within a certain box and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have a compensator, nothing like that. So this is an interesting one. Uh, this could be a a duty gun. It could be a competition gun, um, but really it's, I guess it's whatever you want it to be. For me, it's a steel killer. Okay. This is the one gun of my crazy collection. If I had to just take one to, uh, clear a dueling tree or a Texas star as fast as I could without a shadow of a doubt, I'm taking this. Nothing comes close. This is, uh, my best performing gun in my hand. It's the easiest to shoot. So the main point of this video though is addressing the price, $4,300, is it worth it? And to be honest, it's both yes and no. It just depends on you, honestly. There are some people that straight up just get pissed off of the price of this thing. Um, I don't understand that reaction. Same thing with expensive cars or watches or whatever. Some people will never justify spending $10,000 on a Submariner Rolex when their phone will tell the time, that kind of demeanor. But okay, $4,300 is the price of this or $4,299. And the funny thing is, I mentioned this in my main video with it, but I've been wanting an STI and now Staccato for a while. And it wasn't until SHOT Show 2020, so a little over two years ago, where the Staccato booth was there. I'm like, oh, what a perfect opportunity. I don't know the model lineup that well. Let me just go get a feel for every single gun. And so there was a Staccato P, a St Staccato C2, all the, they were just letters and numbers to me. I didn't know anything about them. And then lo and behold, the XC was there. And all I did was just rack the slide. And I'm like, okay, I guess I don't need to know anything else. I want that one. Then that's when I found out the price, $4,299. And since then, back from Shot Show 2020, I haven't been able to find a pre-owned one and the price has not changed. They've always been $4,300. The only difference from two years ago, they were $4,300 with a very long lead time. And I bought this last December, it was $4,300 and it shipped the next day. So they're available, the price just doesn't change and I cannot find a used one, so I had to fork over the money. But again, back to why, what is $4,300 uh, in this? Well, there's only so much I could justify uh, at the very end. Uh, to make a long story short, it shoots so damn well. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, initially I wanted to go without a script or bulletin point to just kind of, you know, freehand this review. But like anything, uh, some things might be obvious to me and I'll just totally forget to mention them. So let's go over a couple of quick bulletin points here. Uh, one of those obvious things, it is 9mm, but maybe you guys didn't know that, so I wanted to go ahead and mention that. It is a 9mm uh, double stack 1911-esque gun, so of course that is going to be a 2011. Uh, a lot of people claim they make 2011s, and I really want to try those out. You know, there's, uh, of course, uh, Bull Armory and Triarch. Those are double stack 9mm 1911s. I think it's Staccato is the only one that uh, can call it a 2011. It's got a 5-inch barrel when you account for the integrated uh, island compensator. They call it that because the front sight, uh, as you can see, hopefully I'll focus, does not move. 
tell me it's focusing, hopefully. So the compensator is uh, that one piece on there, the front sight doesn't move, so it's kind of like on an island. Five inches with that considered, so it's the full length, uh, you know, government size slide. But uh, not all of it slides back, if that makes sense. The XC is optics ready. It comes with some Dawson Precision uh, sights that are really, really great. And then also has Dawson Precision uh, mounting solution. So I've got a Delta Point uh, Pro on here. And I like the Delta Point just because it's not one of the constant on off. So I'm, I like that I can turn it off and I don't have to take the whole thing off when I change the battery. So I like the Delta Point, um, but it also on this one, ever so slightly sits the lowest possible. If you were to go with a Trigicon RMR or Hollow Sun or anything of that footprint, good news, in the same box, it comes with the mounting solutions from Dawson Precision as well, but it sits like just millimetrically higher, it, like barely at all. Um, and with the Dawson Precision kit, you can also use that little uh, slit into the Leupold and put your uh, Dawson rear sight. So they are pretty much like suppressor height sights for the most part. Uh, so you could co-witness perfectly through the Delta Point or your RMR or whatever you're running. So again, that's not optional. Uh, many things with Staccato are optional. You could add DLC, you could add this. The XC is simply the XC. It doesn't matter what optic you're running. It comes with the base plates for whatever it can come with. It comes with, there's no getting around it. That's why it's $4,300 as well. It's a two and a half pound trigger, which in a precision rifle is exceptional, but in a pistol, uh, ridiculously light. The reset as well very very early it's honestly right where you want it to be it's not too faint it's just right there yeah i gotta be honest though that trigger i might make it sound bad that it's so light but it's not it literally takes a few rounds to get used to but within your first mag you're gonna get used to it and now that's what you expect now me i built the habit of with my pistols when i'm shooting right when it goes off i'm off the trigger and starting to kind of put some pressure back not to shoot but just to feel where that wall might be that habit was making me I kind of accidentally rapid fire this, not bump it, not full auto, nothing like that. But the first time I ever shot one of these was a friend's. And uh, the first time I shot it, I shot it twice on accident. It's just that sensitive, but it's not like it rose at all. It's actually a really flat recoil impulse as you'd expect. But yeah, it takes about five rounds of the first mag for you to really realize that you do not need to set the trigger at all. Just think about pulling it and it'll go. Uh, it's not too light. You just get used to it within first few shots. And then it's your norm, and then every other pistol feels terrible. I could go from this to any of my 1911s, which all 1911s have good triggers, and they feel like Desert Eagles in their recoil and everything. So it's a, it's a gun that'll spoil you for sure. So be mindful of that. Out of the box for me, it came with two 17-round mags and one 20-round mag, and I believe it was 26 rounds are available. Uh, the mags are not cheap, though. I will say that. Uh, but yeah, you get three out of the gate. This one right here is the 20, so it sticks out ever so slightly more. Get a big old flared magwell there too, so. I mean, I'm not concealing this. I'm gonna use that 20 more often than not anyway. If you guys are all about those dimensions, uh, here you are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just read them off my notes. 8.4 inches in length, 1.3 inches wide, and the height of it is six inches. Uh, weight without a mag and without an optic will be 37.56 ounces uh, and without the light as well, I should mention. I guess I should have ran through everything on mine. Yeah, Leupold Delta Point Pro with the three MOA, or I'm sorry, no, it was a 2.5 MOA dot, so it was really crisp. Um, and then the Surefire X300 Ultra. And when you add it all up, that's when it starts looking like it's a little north of $5,000 for a pistol. Yes, it is absurd. And of course, I'll be honest and say, no, this setup is not necessary at all. There is, without a shadow of a doubt, a person out there who's a significantly better shooter than me if they're shooting a Glock 19 and I'm shooting this. You'll see that with everything, whether it's a driver of a sports car or a motorcyclist, there's always a driver mod. Uh, same with this. So. I will say though, as I said in my main video, whatever level of a shooter you are, this instantly adds quite a bit more than that. You could pick up a brand new MMP or a Glock and it doesn't significantly make you a better shooter. Um, that's all within training. Without training, this just does make you a better shooter, just to call it for how it is. But with training, that's when you can be just an absolute animal. So that's my experience with it anyway. To elaborate a little bit more on what I said about how there's no options with this gun because every option that Staccato offers is just thrown into this. 
uh, except for the fact that because it is a integral uh, compensator, uh, there's no threads and with it, there's no removable compensator or this, that, obviously. It is integral, so that's the way it's gonna stay. Uh, other than that though, we have got these uh, cuts here and these are called the XC cuts. Now, if you were to order any other staccato, you can option in, from my understanding, or maybe they'll do special editions, you can option in XC slide cuts. Um, you can option in DLC coating or diamond light coating. It's, uh, it looks like black and it is, uh, but it's not just a Cerakote by any means. It's uh, very durable, but it's also very slick. So you can see the barrel is black. This has not a crazy high round count. I would guess maybe it's got 500 rounds through it, maybe a little bit more. And where you would normally start seeing some wear on a stainless steel 1911 barrel, this diamond light coating barrel looks brand new. This gun looks like it's never been shot. Again, I would guess between five and 700 rounds through it so far. Uh, not that that's a high round count, like I said, but worth mentioning that it hasn't had a single issue. Um, it's locked back every time. If it hasn't, it's just because I maybe have made the bad habit of kind of going way up here with my thumbs and I might not let it lock back. But um, it's pretty easy to break that habit. The ambi safety is huge, so you can kind of use that as, uh, as your pedal and avoid the uh, slide release. That being said, no problems whatsoever. I've gone as light as 115 and as heavy as 147 grain, nine mil and no problem, uh, so that's nice. Everyone was saying that they're not that reliable initially because their tolerances are too tight and then eventually they become reliable. Not with this one, this one uh, from the get-go just shot great and it hasn't got any more loose. Yeah, solid. I mean, there's just no play within the slide and the frame, um, yet it's very reliable. So tight tolerances are still there by all means. You know I love getting immature with uh, these gun reviews on the main channel or here, so we're gonna get immature, just talk about the looks. Looks freaking badass. Looks like it's Darth Vader's everyday carry uh, within that double stack grip that just gives you awesome comfort. The big old magwell there, the comp, everything. Uh, I do love that they put the assaulting forward American flag here. If they put the Texas flag on the other side, I think that'd be pretty cool. That does remind me though, that if you wanted to have any kind of engraving with your initials or whatever logo, they offer that as well as they told me when I went to their shop. Uh, now, like I said, this isn't a manufacturer review. I wanted to keep this about the XC, but just so you don't think that everything staccato is over four grand. Again, this and the XL are like the premier top end stuff, but they make a uh, staccato C, which is an everyday carry single stack gun. Those go for around $1,899 or $1,900 starting. The C2 is that, but double stack, those go for around 2,000 starting. And you could of course option in things like threaded barrels, DLC, and you can make the price go up from there. And those from, I could be wrong, I think those all have four and a half uh, pound triggers. Shooting in general is a very perishable skill, but especially handguns. And so I let my dad shoot it, who hasn't shot a pistol in probably like six months. And he was just nailing some pretty small targets from, I don't know, probably like 20 yards. Um, and he was impressed with it, so now he's a fanboy. Now he's got a C2 on order. I let my mom shoot the XC, made her a much better shooter instantly. Anybody who shoots this thing just feels like an absolute freaking hero. Um, and uh, that's what it's all about. Like I said, uh, you know, what's it? Is it worth it? Yes or no? And it depends on you. Again, it just depends on your use. For me, I'm a big recreational shooter. I love uh, just shooting moving steel targets for fun and all that good stuff. And uh, man, I'm yet to have found a pistol that does this. Don't get me wrong, I'm open to trying out some Bull Armory and Triarchs and the likes and Nighthawks and all that kind of stuff. But this gives me all those like race gun senses with the duty aspect of it and it's just a freaking cool gun, man. By no means am I expecting to sell anybody on one of these that aren't already in the market or very apprehensive about the price. Believe me, I understand as far as why someone might be kept away from that uh, from the price point. But if you are maybe watching um, already in the market and you just kind of wanted some confirmation. Uh, you heard it from me, but I'm sure you heard it from plenty of other people who've shot and reviewed this. Nobody's ever shot this and not recommended it uh, or instantly went and bought one themselves. That's just the effect these staccatos have, man. So yeah, this is my, at the moment, my end all be all pistol of all the ones I own. I haven't done a count, but I got quite, quite a few guns. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the one I would choose if I had to clean a dueling tree or a Texas star or uh, shoot my very, very best. Uh, this is the pistol I'm taking without a shadow of a doubt. That does it for this video. If there's any questions, let me know. Ask them in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and try my best to answer them. But that does it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.
Does it make you a better shot? It does. Sorry. <laughs>